So last video, I introduced the groundbreaking new idea that no one has ever thought of before, cardboard cutouts. But my cardboard cutouts were meticulously crafted, precisely measured and consistently scaled. So even though it only exists on two dimensions, it gives you a precise idea of exactly how one character would be scaled with another. And it's really easy to do. So let's take a look at how. First, draw your character of choice in a neutral standing position. I don't really have too many tips on this, but I start with deciding the size or the height that I wanna make the character in. And then I draw a straight line down the middle of the page. And so then I have these dots measuring the halfway point or where I want the crotch to be. And then also the length of the head. And then that is the bare minimum. These dots indicate the proportions I will draw the character in. Now grab your reference photos. And in this instance, my aim is to capture an existing character in a scaled model. So I look at tons of photos of that character to see exactly what they look like. And this is a large part of the process that you guys do not see. I have all these pictures here organized into folders of every single character I've ever thought looked cool. Like for instance, I took over 140 screenshots of Venom from the Venom movie for that model, 114 for Joker, and hundreds upon hundreds for Nami, Luffy, Zoro, Katakuri in One Piece. I am obsessed with how these characters look in many different forms, and I study them to understand exactly why and how people have drawn them the way they did. The colors, the proportions, the anatomy, the line weight, all of which are factors that I think about a lot. And for those wondering how I get the proportions for my characters, because a lot of the time I'm trying to just capture what I've seen on TV screen or an animation and just recreate that exactly. So here's my secret sauce, my secret spice, the secret, the, the, this is the secret. I literally just sit here with a ruler measuring images I found on my computer screen and then seeing how big each part is relative to each other. I do some basic calculations and I apply it to my drawing. And then I might go further to indicate key areas like the shoulder width, waist and hip with those little dots or some straight lines. And then I just uh, connect the dots and start drawing. Of course, do the inking, do the coloring. And now next, make a copy of the drawing you've done so you can keep the original in your book, cut them out all neat and stuff. And you might need to add some extra parts like, like I do here for Big Mom because she is way too big to fit in an A4 page. But otherwise, you know, if they do fit in the page, then great, just cut them out. I don't, you got, that's simple, right? But I'm turning this drawing into a 2D model for Big Mom, which means I have a lot of extra parts to add because so she took up like three pages to make this one character. She's so big. 45 centimeters tall, did I mention that? But then once you've managed that and you've got your, your full cutout, here is the second secret. Take a brush tip or a black marker or something and go around the edge of the paper because paper actually does have some degree of thickness. And if you don't ink the outside edges, then you'll have this sort of white outline like it's been cut out or something. And then the next thing to do is stick them onto something a lot more solid. So you can pick up the figure from anywhere and it'll be, you know, solid. It just depends on what you have and how solid you want the thing to be. Maybe you don't care about that as much as I do. Then another thing I, I sometimes do is I use paper clips like my sword tutorial, I fold them out into a straight wire and then I glue them between the layers in the leg to add some extra solidity to the, to the legs of the character when they're standing on the desk. The idea is to make it that no matter where you pick it up from, it is solid and strong and it's not gonna fold over. And it doesn't have to be cut out perfectly, just like a rough outline. Just like I've done here is fine because once you get to the thicker paper, it can be a son of a bitch to cut out with scissors, my God. And I had to use this knife to hack through the foam board and that, that scares me. The final trick is the stands. No, not that one. These ones. Well, these are erasers. But what I do is I take these cheap erasers, I cut them in half so we have this triangle, and then I glue them to the back of the feet, like this. Easy. And if you do have the little paperclip wires in there, you can bend them slightly so they sort of get the balance right and it just sits on your desk. And the genius part of doing it this way is, well, I have to draw the characters anyway. So if I just make a copy and then cut out the drawing, I get like a version of the character standing on my desk and it's barely any extra work. Genius. It's such little extra effort and it just makes for a much better display.
And that's it, my revolutionary 2D method revealed. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you could follow along. Comment below what you think, and now I have just much more two-dimensional love to populate my desk with. So far in the 2D form, we have Star Platinum from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Boa Hancock from One Piece, Frankie from One Piece, Captain Muscle, Dio from JoJo, Kinemon from One Piece, Tomioka, from Demon Slayer. Satsuki Kiyoin from Kill La Kill in her Gundam bikini is what I like to call it. Definitely one of the most unique and standout designs, I think. And one of my personal favorites, Asuka Langley Soryu from Evangelion. With Kyoshiro, a samurai from Wano in One Piece, and Venusaur, probably my third favorite Pokemon. And then finally, Barely fitting in the frame, and by barely, I mean not at all. We have Kaido, the King of Beasts from One Piece, and Big Mom as well from One Piece. And uh, I'll be honest with you guys, these last couple videos about the 2D paper models was just an excuse for me to just see all these drawings I've done stand on my desk like this, and uh, man, does it look delightful. Two weeks of work versus two years of work, and for the short amount of time it takes, this is just something totally worth it. This is, it's mind blowing to me how good this simple idea looks. Thanks for watching.